Do you want to learn how to take your Cricut Design Space projects and drop them into another program? Well, follow me and I'll show you a few options on how to export those files. Cricut Design Space doesn't have a built-in export file option. I'm certain this is due to the fact of their licensing and copyright issues around their images and fonts. So I don't recommend using their proprietary content. I only use this on my designs that I've created. So you have a few export workaround options, but you do not export an actual SVG file or a cut ready file. You can only export in a PNG image or a PDF file. Option one is to take a screenshot of your design. Most computers have a built-in program like the snipping tool or a keyboard shortcut. You'll want to make sure you flatten your image prior to taking the screenshot. This ensures that you have no black outlines around your layers. Next, make sure your image is large enough to take up the entire screen. Finally, turn off the grid under the Cricut settings. Your image will not be transparent. Using the snipping tool, you'll clip as closely as possible to the design. It'll pop up in a different window in my snipping tool program. And from here, I'm just gonna click the save. I'll save it into a folder where I can find it later on. Find the save location folder and open your PNG in the desired program. I'll be using Inkscape, so I'll drag and drop it onto my blank canvas. This PNG can be converted to an SVG as needed. Now this render really good results. It was 16 inches by eight inches. Option two is to locate the canvas preview PNG within the program folders. Now this option is not available for mobile users to my knowledge. This is also just a preview of the entire canvas as is. The image is not so large, six and a quarter by six and a quarter. So upsizing it too much will result in quality loss. Plus side, the images are transparent. So that's really good for print projects. You want to make sure to hide any objects that you do not want on your final print. Flatten your entire design and then save the project for the latest updates and so that it's easier to find. Go to the folder path listed under this PC, the Windows C drive, Users, and then select your Profile folder. Next, click on the .cricket slash design slash space folder, your local data folder, and then select the numerical folder that is most recent. Next, click on Canvas, and then finally select your project file. Now these are saved as random numbers, but they are saved by date. In this folder, you'll click on the Preview PNG image. Open the image in the program of your choice or copy and paste it somewhere else to save. In Inkscape, again, I'll drag and drop it. And when I import an image, I'll leave my import defaults by just clicking OK. Now this is a fixed size, 6.25 by 6.25. Now it can be converted to an SVG as needed. As mentioned previously, this is just a preview of your entire canvas. So in this case, I'm gonna add two images to the canvas. One is flattened and one is cut ready. And you'll notice they're both now on my preview. But my size doesn't change. It's still six and a quarter by six and a quarter. So when I stretch it out, I lose quality. Now this flattened image does not have this black outline that the cut image has. The third option is to save a PDF file via the print and cut process. And this allows for 10.63 by 15.49. Again, you need to flatten your image and this is a must for the print and cut process. And then resize your image to the max size. Don't forget you can change your paper size under the settings. Then you'll just follow the standard make it instructions for print then cut and select PDF when you're choosing your printer device. Now your images will be transparent when you ungroup them in Inkscape, but they will have the black registration marks from printing. Let's take a closer look. When I import my file, I need to select it and then click flatten. Your image may get an exclamation point on it indicating that the size is too large to be printed. From here, you can change your paper size or auto resize the image to the max allowed size for the print. Once it's been resized, I'll click make it and then follow the on-screen instructions. Click continue to print your image and then click send to the printer. Under the printer devices, click the dropdown and select the option for print to PDF. I have two options, print to PDF or Adobe PDF. 
You also want to make sure that you turn the bleed off and then click print. This will prompt you to save your file. Locate your folder where you saved your PDF and then drag and drop it into Inkscape. Again, I'll leave my import defaults as is by just clicking OK. Now this PDF can be converted into an SVG as needed. When the PDF is loaded into Inkscape, you need to select the image, right click and ungroup. This will separate the embedded image from the PDF file itself. Now that it's an image, you can see it's transparent, but it does have those black registration marks from the printing process. So those are the three options I have for you on exporting your files from Cricut Design Space. If this was helpful, don't forget to like, share, follow, and subscribe.